What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Travis and I produce daily content for homeowners and up and coming heating and air technicians teaching you everything you need to know about heating and air and on today's service call I'm going to be showing you how to do this, how to check your gas pressure on a gas fired system. Now, this is very important to check it each year to make sure your furnace is not over firing uh, you're not wasting gas and things like that so it's definitely something that should be done on any type of maintenance you do uh, for the heating system so guys if you want to see how I do it stay tuned and I'll see you at the furnace okay here's the furnace that we're checking the gas pressure on and the first thing that we want to do we want to walk around we want to turn our power off to our package unit alright we will walk back around to our unit here and when you're checking gas pressure, the first thing you want to identify is your gas valve. And this is your gas valve here. And as you can see, this is your gas line coming in. This is where it leaves the gas valve when it calls for heat. And basically, it ignites your burners. Now, to check your gas valve, on, especially on this one, you have two little ports on each side of the gas valve. If you see one here, you use a little... Allen key to turn that. Now that's your incoming pressure. So basically we don't want to check that here. What we want to do is we want to check here where it leaves our gas valve to know exactly how much gas our furnace is using. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our Allen key. We're going to put it in here. And we're going to loosen this, at, loosen this up remove this little plug and that way we can stick our manometer in okay here's our plug that comes out of the valve we're going to sit this right on top and what I'm going to be using to um, check our gas pressure is this field piece manometer you can use any type of manometer, um, water manometer, anything like that. But I do like these field piece manometers. Uh, they do really well. Now on our manometer, we have a little port here that screws right into the same port where we took out our plug. What we want to do is we want to take our line for a manometer. I'm going to plug it up here. And then basically the other end of our tube, we want to plug it. You can plug it in a P1 or P2 and we'll use P1. And now what we need to do is we need to turn the, the unit on, start it up, let gas flow go through, and we can measure actually how much gas this furnace is using. Alright, we're going to turn our power back on. We got a thermostat in the heating mode. Producer motor kicks on. Okay, now this is a an LP unit, and so your your pressures will differ whether it being LP uh, or or natural gas. What we usually see for LP, you want it to be around. Around 10 to 11.5 for LP. On natural gas, uh, you want that uh, right around 3.5 inches of water column. And as you can see on this unit, we're running about 10.275 inches of water column on this gas valve. So this is actually within range of what we're looking for. So basically, if we needed to adjust our gas pressure we have a little we have a little tap up here on top of our gas valve you see it looks like a little flat head screw what you want to do is you want to take that off and you see down here is a little white plastic screw now, if you, if you turn that, that will adjust your gas pressure. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust this to 10.5 inches of water column. 
So if you see a turn up one way, you see how it went down to 9.65. So what we'll do is we'll turn it the other way. I turn it in the clockwise position. The gas pressure goes up. Okay, on this um, on this gas valve, it's already open as much as it'll go, and we're basically going. Our gas pressure is right around 10. So, like I say, it all depends on the furnace. Um, like I say, a lot of them we like to see it around 11.5 inches of water column, but this one is as high as it'll get. So basically, once we get our gas pressure. What you can do, you've got a little switch on top of our gas valve. We can use that to turn the gas off. And when the gas turned off, you can start taking your manometer off. Take our little fitting off. We want to put our little plug back in. And we want to make sure our plug is, is nice and tight so it doesn't leak out, leak out any gas. We don't want to put it in too tight and strip our threads then that way it won't, won't be able to check our gas valve gas pressure in the future all right we'll replace our screw where we adjust our gas pressure at put that back on and then for that point we can turn our gas valve back on so guys um pretty easy to check your gas pressure you just have to have a manometer it's not a really in-depth thing to check it just always remember if you when you're checking it your gas pressure for a natural gas unit is around 3.5 um, on LP you're looking somewhere between 10 10.5 11.5 right around in there and uh, it's always good especially on a maintenance call to check your your gas pressure each year that way you know that your furnace is not using too much gas not over firing you're not wasting gas or anything like that so it's always good to check your gas pressure and it's usually done on your maintenance call for your heating system so guys a pretty easy thing to do uh, i hope you learned something today and if you did please hit that like and subscribe button it means so much to me to know uh, that i'm helping you guys with this type of stuff and as always guys I will see you on the next service call. Bye.